My name is Akwa Onduku, a pastor, Chapel of Grace, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford, West Yorkshire. I welcome you to today's Open Heaven Reflections, written by Pastor Ia Deboe. Our topic today is the wisdom of men. The Bible passage, Genesis chapter 2 from 15 to 17. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Memory verse, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39. Moreover, your little ones and your children, who you say will be victims, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in there. To them I will give it, and they shall possess it. Wisdom is a godly principle. As a godly principle, it is defined as a habit or disposition to perform the action with the highest degree of adequacy under any given circumstance. This implies a possession of knowledge or the seeking thereof in order to apply it to the given circumstance. Simply, wisdom is the correct application of knowledge. This involves an understanding of people, things, events, situations, and the willingness as well as the ability to apply perceptions, judgment, and action in keeping with the understanding of what is the optimal course of action. It often requires control of one's emotional reactions or what we may refer to as passions so that the universal principle of reason prevails to determine one's action. That is wisdom. The Bible reveals that the people of at Corinth desired man's wisdom and had less regard for God's wisdom. In 1 Corinthians 2, 1 to 16, Paul shows that the Greek community of the first century struggled to understand what his message was brought to them by the, the wisdom of God. The reason being in the Greek culture, the ability to speak well and the effective use of language were the most prized abilities. The clear implication is that at the root and core of what Paul calls the wisdom of men is pride. But why? What is there about human wisdom which causes it to regard Christ crucified as foolishness? Apostle Paul admonished us in 1 Corinthians 1.18, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who have been saved, it is the power of God. The wisdom of men is destructive to faith because it regards the word of the cross as foolishness. Then in verses 26 to 27, it goes forth to state that, for you, for you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. The wisdom of man lacks the understanding of the power of God. May you have the wisdom of God in Jesus' name. Our prayer point today is, Father, please help me to serve you with total obedience to the authority of your word. God bless you. Goodbye.